Sports, it's time for our weekly visit with the career coach, the legendary <laughs> Alden Davis. <laughs> Took me a minute. I forgot. Yes. It's great. What's our lesson today, Well, coach? this week... You know, the governor talked about the need to consolidate and flatten organizations. Last week, Pfizer announced plans to reduce its Connecticut workforce by 1,100. And Edna's threatening to leave, so yeah. Well, people are listening right now who may feel nervous about their future. Today's topic is sometimes you've got to look up. Get your star power back yeah. by printing off a copy of our model found at myvaluetree.com right above the WTIC logo. Keep your head up. We have a great future. See you right here after weather and sports. All right, big boy, 713th time, WTIC. Good morning, Alden. How are you? Well, good morning, Ray. I'm great. All right, so we all got our homework here, and we're ready to go. And this is basically, let's set it up. We're looking We're looking at changes. We got the Pfizer things going. You, you know, it's, it's still not the best of times. So what do you do to survive and maybe even thrive? There you go. What That is exactly what we need to talk about today. We're going to talk about unleashing your star power. We're back to star power. Picture a five-point star where each point helps you remember what you must do to be successful. If you haven't printed off a copy yet at MyValueTree.com, go grab one. It's right above the WTIC logo. Well, so this week, you know, the governor talks about consolidated and flatter. Uh, last week, Pfizer announced uh, reductions of about 1,100. You were showing me in the uh, Hartford Courant. That the, Aetna's... Um, Aetna's, you know, UTC I mean, they're not going anywhere, about, but they're no, just saying everybody says it's hard to do business. A little love here, please. Yeah. Well, so my guess is that some of you may be feeling a bit vulnerable right now. Well, OK, it's understandable. But for today, we hold our heads up and look at the big picture. The need for new possibilities is thrust upon us through unanticipated change. That's today's thesis. OK. Uh, when we are busy working, our heads are down. We forget to look up and see where we are on our journey. We tend to lose perspective. But during these announcements, we get a whack on the side of our head. How do we respond? Some of you will embrace these tough times, recognize it will not be easy, and you will thrive. There are other people whose boats will break up on the rocks of life, but not you. You know, over my 30 years in industry, I came up to the edge of my job five times and was pushed over once. Ooh. Yeah, this means on average every five years I was in panic mode. Uh, I had either been told directly or indirectly that my path was going to end. And, you know, it was during those times that I had to lift my head up and look at the big picture. I had to see the chessboard of life. Well, Ray, how many moves ahead can a good chess player see? It should be a lot, I would think. Yeah, I mean, usually they're, they're playing really ahead, right? Five or seven so. moves at least. If you do this, then I'll do this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're always looking ahead to modify their strategy. Well, so it was for me. These were stressful times. I had a young family. You know, you're trying to save for kids' college. You've got the house. you got the career. You oh, have the God. aspirations. But it's during these times that I was compelled to seek new possibilities. But through these times, yeah, I ended up here in Connecticut. I ended up with opportunities to work around the world. I ended up here with you. I ended up mastering great business and consulting skills. I ended up learning how to sell myself. Four out of five, not bad. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's during these times that having positive thoughts and visions for my future is so important. You heard of Napoleon Hill? Yes. Well, okay. Uh, you know, under the direction of Andrew Carnegie, he distilled the philosophy of personal achievement. And a key tenet is that thoughts are things. Thoughts are things. It is through the power of my mind that I create a positive future. The nice thing about the Pfizer reductions is that they will happen over an 18-month period. So starting right now, get your finances in order. Take action now. Plan to have all your credit cards paid off refinance your house get into a cheaper car build up your savings you are better positioned for your future when not carrying around the weights of debt get your head up start to understand the reality that not all 1100 people will get equivalent jobs within driving distance of their house this may be a great opportunity for change i'm a west coaster and without being broken out of my nest i would have never had my new england experience Remember, you will uh, experience some grief, which will take you through a journey starting with shock, and then a time of denying the reality. You'll get angry and then depressed. Uh, you'll start doing the what if and if only thinking, and then sadness and finally acceptance. Fine. Get started grieving and get on with planning. 
There's another exciting future for you. Maybe not the one you thought, but another one. I did this dance six times. I'm pretty good at it. I know the highs and the lows. But this I know for sure. If you become catatonic, it's over. Use this time to explore possibilities. Talk to people. Network on LinkedIn. Read newspapers from other towns. Start putting together a list of companies that will allow you to pursue your passion. Decide what you're passionate about. You have a great opportunity to redesign your life. Kick it up a notch. You know, if you're a New Englander, you come from hardy stock. You cut through down trees. You plow your drive. You negotiate snow-covered roads, and you still get to work on time. Nothing stops you. My grandmother, Ray, homesteaded on the plains and lived in a mud hut. My great-grandfather was a whaler in Nova Scotia. All we're dealing with is a job (laughs) change. (laughs) Have you seen the movie Extraordinary Measures with Brendan Fraser and Harrison Ford? Well, we just watched it, and wow, what a great story that is. It has all the gut-churning corporate politics, but it is a great example of today's topic. The need for new possibilities is thrust upon us through unanticipated change. We can do this. You can do this. Keep looking up. I'm Coach Davis. It is uh, 728 WTIC News Talk 1080.